everybody, this is MNSMR, and I'm back tonight with my first Christmas nails of the season. And yes, in case anybody is wondering, the colors are indeed done the same exact way. So is the other foot, I just don't want to lean around <laughs> and show you, but both, both feet are done exactly the same as the nails, as always. So, this is the first of what will be a few Christmas designs. So tonight, I wanted to do a couple of things. But I wanted to start out by telling you about an ASMRs that I absolutely love. Uh, his name is Danny ASMR. He has a wonderful accent. I believe he said he was from Persia. I think that's what he said, he was Persian. Um, but he makes these really super, super short videos, like less than two minutes. And I watched one last night that just absolutely made my tingles explode. He laid down pens, right? And then he took a bigger pen and on a hard surface was like tapping each one. It was amazing. Um, so I'm going to link his video in the description box of this video and go check out his work because even though his videos are super super short they're so worth it so now we're going to do something kind of similar even though i don't really have a hard surface to tap on but firstly what color is this yellow yes and what color is this green black yep this one green yep and this one Pink, yes. And this one? Blue. Very good. Now, how many pens am I showing you? How many did I just show you? Three, yes. How many did I just show you now? One, very good. How many am I showing you? Two, excellent. How many am I showing you? Two, yes. And between these pens, one, two, and three, which one is the lightest? This one, very good. And between these pens, one, two, and three, three, two, and one, which one is the darkest? Three, excellent. And now, between these pens, one, two, and three, which is the lightest? Three, yep. And which is the darkest? One, two, and three. And which one looks me to think of shamrocks? Two. Excellent. And now, I am starting to get my Christmas decorations together. I will be starting to get my tree ready to go tomorrow. So we have a bag of these little, they're like vase filler, little foam bowls. They are in red and gold. For some reason, I couldn't get them in green. So, I'm going to take these in my hand and I'm going to ask you to guess which hand is the gold ball in and which hand is the red one in. So, is the red one here and is the red one here? Is the gold one here or the gold one here? Just try to guess which one do you think has the red and which do you think has the gold? Five, four, three, two, one. The gold was here, the red was here. And we'll do that again. Do you think I'm holding red or gold? Red or gold? Red. Were you right? Okay. Now, do you think I'm holding red or gold? Or red or gold? Gold. Very good. And once again, do you think red is in this hand or this hand? And do you think gold is in this hand or this hand? Which one's red, which one's gold? Take a guess, take a guess, and <laughs> were you right? Okay, very good. So now we will go ahead and play with some cards. So, am I lying or am I not lying? Both of these cards are face cards. Am I telling the truth or am I lying? I'm telling the truth. They're both face cards. Okay, next. 
Am I telling the truth or am I lying? One of these cards is red. One of them is red. True or false? True. One is indeed red. Let's go with them. And... True or false? Both of these cards are black. Both are black. False. One is red, one is black. Okay. And then, what color is this? Green, very good. And this, blue, excellent. Okay. And now, true or false? Both of these cards are tens. Is that true or false? Mm hmm. Both were indeed tens. How many pens did I just show you? Two, yep, and what colors were they? Black and blue. Mm -hmm. Very good. And gold or red? Gold or red? Gold. Very good. And gold or red? Gold or red? Gold. Mm -hmm. And gold or red? Gold or red? Red. Excellent. And what card is this? What card did I just show you? It was an ace, yes, and was it black or red? Black, yes. And what card did I just show you? What card did you just see? A red nine. Very good. And now identify the card. What card did you just see? Number and color. It was a red two. Very good. And what card did you just see? It was a red jack or face card. Yes. Very good. And what card did you just see? A black king. Mm -hmm. And now tell me. Are all three of these cards face cards? Yes or no? Yes or no? Three, two, one. Yes, they are all face cards. Very good. And what color is this? Mostly yellow, yep. And what's the second color on it? Black. Yep. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Very good. And which one's red and which one's gold? Red gold. Were you right? Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Now I know that this channel is not strictly dedicated to art, but I did want to show you my latest piece. So this is a piece, this is actually a card that doubles as a piece of art. I created this for um, an arts council on Long Island. They're doing this lovely um, card exchange where basically artists will each make a holiday card. This is a New Year's card. And then we send our card to another artist, and then we get one in return. So what we do is that we make the cards, and then we send them to the Arts Council, and then they pair artists. So, like, they give my card to somebody, and then somebody's card to me. I'm really hoping that whoever gets this card is a fan of abstract art, because God help them if they're expecting some, like, beautiful Christmas tree scene or Santa scene, and then this shows up at the door. Because <laughs> this is a crazy thing. <laughs> so, um, it's three-dimensional. It's a collage. Some of these pieces are up on beads to give it three-dimensional depth. It's also originally painted. It's got a couple of rhinestones. Can you see the color of the rhinestone? Mm -hmm, pink and this one. Teal. Excellent. And then we have a gold trim with blue with a blue background. And so it's got this gold trim here. And it's magenta and teal with gold and some black and white and a little bit of silver and of course a lot of blue. Um, so the way that this was created, this is actually a collage, so we have little pieces here that are propped up on, um, beads. It actually makes a really nice tapping sound. And then we've got two rhinestones here. Can you see this color? Pink, yep, or magenta on this one. Teal, yep. And then in the center, we have this original sculpture that I created and painted. And the sculpture is magenta pink and teal green 
and blue and gold and black and then of course white but it's a very pearlescent white the same as these little polka dots and some of the gold pieces shine and some pieces shimmer and then on the back we have just more collage we have gold and silver shimmering and black and blue and magenta and teal and look we have one two three four five six rhinestones so in total we have six rhinestones on the back and two rhinestones on the cover now so eight in total so now the way that I would the way you can display this there's many options you could display it just like a regular card like this or you could display it like this which is another traditional way to display a card but the way I would personally display it and the way that I am going to suggest that the person who gets it displays it is like this to lay the card out and to put it in a frame so it's about eight inches high and five inches wide and I feel like you could get a nice frame for it, maybe a silver frame or even a gold frame or a magenta or a teal or blue frame, up to you. And I would put it in a frame and then just hang it on the wall like a regular wall hanging. You could put the sculpture at the bottom or the sculpture on the top. This is the way that I would personally hang it on the wall. You could also hang it on a wall this way or this way. As with many of my pieces of art, it can be hung in any direction that you think it looks best. So it's really up to the recipient. Just as I said, I really hope whoever receives this card likes abstract art, or else it will not be a very happy new year if they're expecting something nice and traditional, and instead this arrives. So hopefully the art um, guild works that out. <laughs> pair abstract artist with abstract artist. Although I don't mind whatever kind of card I get. I appreciate all sorts of art, but I know this is kind of outrageous <laughs> for a lot of people. So I will show you now the inside. As I said, it is a card. I decided to make it a New Year's card. So let me open it up. My name is here, but I blocked my name out, you guys, but the, the gold trim goes all the way around. This paper is just here to protect my name. And it says, Happy 2022. The inside is all hand drawn and original with the same colors as the outside. And I wrote, I marked it December 1st, even though that's a few days from now, just because that's around the time I'll be dropping it off. And I wrote, wishing you a wonderful year with a card that doubles as an art piece that can be displayed on a table or framed as a sculptural hanging fondly and then my name. That's the only way I addressed it because I have no idea who's going to get this. And it makes lovely sounds when you tap it. And again, this is a portion that could just be like on the back of the frame. There's the back of the card. So, I hope that you enjoyed looking at this. My Salutations 2020 card. Thank you for watching. I hope the comments on this video stay on. And as always, have a good night and sweet dreams.